What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mar, not Mo. Bomb, man, I'm back here with another one, and you guys put me through the ringer with this one. I did a poll on my public Instagram, and by the way, if you guys don't know, I have a public and a gaming Instagram, and if you don't follow my gaming Instagram, it's on your screen now. And that's how you guys stay up to date. If you don't have notifications turned on, that's how you see that I uploaded a new video and everything. And so go follow that. But guys, I put a poll on my personal Instagram and I asked, who do you guys want to see me do next? And you guys chose Flight Reacts. And I honestly put it there as a joke because I knew that this was going to be an absolute difficult video to make. And I was right because making flight honestly and then getting flight to 99 so you could actually make the build is ridiculously difficult. And I don't know what else to say. So if you guys enjoy it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, Tell a friend, show some love, do something, and let's get right into it. Jumping right into it, you see we got Flight Reacts. I made him a shooting guard, right-handed, jersey number, double zero. <laughs> His height is 6'2", as listed. His weight listed is 153 pounds, but... This is the minimum weight on 2K, so we're going to go with 165, leave him like that. He has pretty long arms, so I gave him a 6'9 wingspan, and um, I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with a slight body type. Get off my dick! Indeed! Indeed! Indeed. <laughs> Get off my dick! This is the stats. Close shot, 46. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. Driving layup. We all know Flight struggles to finish, so that's why it's a 61. Flight can't dunk, so you can't put those up. Mid-range, 45. Might be a little generous, because I really haven't seen him shoot a lot of mid-ranges and make them. Three-point shot, about a 40. He can get hot, but, you know, I'm not going to rely on his three, are you? He is a good passer. This is not a flight attack. Flight is a pretty good passer, so I'll put it up to 70. Ball handle. I mean, he has the little spider dribble thing, but, I mean, he's not a good ball handler. He's just, like, got one of those weird ball handles where you just can't take it, which is kind of odd. So, I gave him a 50. I might be slighting him here just a little bit, but that's my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what yours is. Speed with ball, he is pretty fast with the ball, just not coordinated. So I left it at 65. Perimeter defense, this is, you know, shirt off, flight, mid game when he turns up. I really think he is a good defender, so I gave him a 70. It's just because he also gets tired really, really fast. He is a pretty good shot blocker. He blocks a lot of shots, so I maxed out his shot blocking. He's also a really good offensive rebounder. He's good at chasing down his rebounds when he misses, so I gave him a 70. He's also a very good defensive rebounder, so I gave him a 60 on that. I'm trying to be as fair as possible here if you haven't caught on. Speed, 84. Acceleration, 82. I don't think he's the fastest guy out there. I really don't think he's the slowest either. But I feel like this is the most fair criteria or whatever you want to call it. Vertical 50. I haven't seen him jump very high at all. And as I discussed before, stamina is a 45 because flight is good for about two to three plays a game, maybe two to three plays after halftime, and then he's done. And I know what you guys are thinking. This has to be regular flight. We wanted to see June Flight. This is June Flight. Because regular flight is even worse. But I figured out a way to get this build, even this one, to 99 overall. And I use what I call the Spinda strategy. 
what is the spender strategy? It's based on the Pokemon spender. And if you don't know about spender, you don't know about Pokemon. Spenda is an extremely mediocre Pokemon. It's not the weakest out there. It's definitely not the strongest. But what stands out about this Pokemon specifically is the fact that all of its stats are equal. And I'm going to explain how that matters and why the strategy is called that and everything in a second. Check this out. Okay, so here's the Spenda strategy. You can kind of see what I was going for with the graphic of Spenda. Basically, you make all of his stats even and you continue to go up until you reach 99. Honestly, you'll come away with a pretty good build when you do this. And it might appear to be overpowered, but it's actually not. You can see you get a lot of gold badges, you know, he had a lot of badge points total, but there's no specific area where he's overly good in. And I'm sure Flight would say this is a lot more like him. But in all honesty, this is a way overpowered build. This is probably the best build that has come out all together. And hey, this is what you get when you make Flight. Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. Flight's takeovers. Let's see, Advanced Gathers I think is great for him. He does have some good footwork, even though he can't finish afterwards. Let's see, we're gonna go through these and we're gonna find something that really, really, and yeah, there's nothing. So what we're going to go with is, we're gonna go with Limitless Range because he shoots from far sometimes. I don't know. Let's see what we get when we make Flight Reacts. A playmaking shot creator. That is absolutely amazing to me. That is absolutely astonishing to me. You guys let me know in the comment section if you agree, disagree, how you feel about this, how you feel about this build. If you want to see me build out this build all the way, take it to the park and get some gameplay with it, be sure to share this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, show some love, do something, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.